good neighbor. Today we have a disposal station and today we have fire sprinkler heads in the walls. So you can see where I'm at. I'm at some kind of campus. I don't even know if the camera will look through there, but the sun's not even out yet. It's before seven in the morning. I don't know where you're at before seven, but I've already driven an hour and got here. So anyway, you can see that they're re doing this room here. This is called a TI, a tenant improvement. So when they do these TIs, they add these walls everywhere. Well, sometimes these walls end up right on the fire sprinklers. So I need to remove that fire sprinkler. Let me turn on your flashlight. Unclip it here so you can zoom in action. You see that fire sprinkler in the way? Well, you won't see it unless I put the camera to it. But yeah, that's in the wall. That's gotta go. And there should be an X right here. X marks the spot. So there's one. There's two. And let's walk over here. I'll show you three, four. How about that? Oh yeah, there's this little one. Yeah, that one's got to go. You see that? That's right in their wall. There's a good example where they can't finish their wall until the fire sprinkler's gone, so they got to call us out. You think they could have just took a wrench and spun this out, but they didn't. And we got one more over here. See that X? That's why I marked the spot. Yep, there it is. So. And that looks like it's coming off the side of the main, so I gotta be careful with that one. Everything else is riser nipples, you see that? Well, this one comes off the side of the main. So I'm gonna get wet on that one. All right, well, there you go. Let's uh, plug four drops and uh, Call it a day. Let's go shut it down, shall we? Someone else shuts it down here, so that's kind of nice. All right, let's get to work. I said get to work. Okay, it is apparent that I am filling up this fire sprinkler system and this is one of the most nerve-wracking times because the engineer said all the strobes were off. So, it's always, he said, do not peg the flow switch, so I didn't. And that's what I always do, but you always do what you're told. He said, don't do it. So here's where I'm working and you can see there's a lot more work here, but they busted ahead at another job. I got to go fix it. So, this goes, when you feel it, you always go look at your work. Look at your work. So that's what I'm doing. I'm walking around and looking at my work. Let's turn you around here. And four heads we did. Now, of course, nothing's going to be leaking right now. But you always want to make sure nothing's open. Nobody broke anything. So you walk your job. Then you can come walk your riser, watch the gauge. It is a dance. When you fill this thing up, remember, you're filling up an old system. And when you fill this up, a lot of times, well, sometimes, these Vicks will start dripping. And if they start dripping and you're in another, yeah, some of these are doctor's offices and so right now we got about 15 pounds. So we'll let it fill up and check our work in a minute. Let's get to work. I said get to work. Okay, we're gonna walk this job real quick. We'll go have them sign the work order. Yep, that's right. We always have them sign the work order here. Sometimes they fight about it, but a lot of times they don't. All dry, all dry. 
all this is dry. No water, no leaks. Well, there you go. As always, looking over my shoulder, never know who's there. Well, as always, I'd like to thank you again for coming along with me on these head in the walls plugging adventures. Oh, I was stressed out about this, but not really. I've been getting good. I've been using the Lord as my weapon, shield as my shield. That's what I'm doing. All right. As always, I want to thank you again for coming along with me on these little adventures. You know the drill. The Lord works. Peace, love, and all that hippie jazz. Bye-bye, everybody. I said bye.